Tony D and Little Joan, and this is your Piney Podcast, all things South Jersey. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Thanks for checking out The Pineys, books 1 through 15, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. As always, I start with some of the crime headlines, then move on to uh, politics, and I get all the crap out of the way, and then get to the fun stuff later. So let's just hit some headlines here. Gloucester Township man shot and killed in Camden County. Not good. The slaying remains under investigation. No arrests have been announced. This was in, ooh, it's in Runnymede. Oof. Nivelle Monu Blackwood was killed. That's a shame. This was uh, Forest Avenue. He was brought to Cooper Hospital where he was pronounced dead at 7 11. That's rough. Seven, that was the time, 7 11. Um, getting scary. Can you help solve these South Jersey murders? According to Cumberland County's Prosecutor Office, six homicides that happened during the summer between 1998 and 2021 remain unsolved. Okay. So one. Uh, in 2021 was Anthony Taylor. He was on 3rd and Vine Streets in Millville during a multi-gun shootout. Uh, in 2018, Eric, Erica McNair shot in front of her home in Bridgeton. Both two rough places, unfortunately, now. Uh, Terrence Martin and Kirk Williams. This is 2018, also in Bridgeton. Uh, Reuben Jacobs, Bridgeton. Uh, Ronald E. Bowman in 2010, Bridgeton. And 1998, Char Char Charlotte so Sudler. Uh, this was also in Bridgeton. Oh, wow. Yeah, ever since um, uh, someone told me that um, the Bridgeton uh, prison was expanded and they moved a lot of gang people into the prison and then their families moved down to be closer to visit them and now gang activity is like way up unfortunately a woman killed when suv hits tree in south jersey she was a passenger in the vehicle police said driver was hospitalized with serious injuries this was in vineland drive safe out there uh joan you're starting to piss me off i'm gonna I, joan's out she's being bad Every time. New Jersey woman arrested has car seized after chaotic street rally. This was in Monmouth County. She turned herself in after a dangerous car meetup in Philadelphia last weekend. Uh, don't drag race, kids. Shoplifters hurt officer in an attempt to get away in Gloucester Township. Group is suspected of retail thefts, thefts throughout South Jersey. I saw one of these years ago. I was coming out of... Uh, the hell store was it? It's no longer there. It was a Kohl's, but it's a Kohl's that they closed. And uh, I saw the guys. I got the license plate. I mean, they came out while I was going in. And I immediately said to the store owner, okay, I got the license plate. I'm a witness. I'm ready to testify and help you out. Guy was like, forget it. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean forget it? And he didn't want, he didn't want to turn him in, basically. So I left. I mean, what was I going to do? I, I don't even think they called the cops. But that was years ago when it wasn't as bad. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, you should arrest these people. Convicted felon in Burlington County, New Jersey, charged with drug and firearm offenses. All right. Uh, New Jersey Attorney General sues Virtua over drug testing expected mothers. Uh, good. Don't think you should be doing that couple who asked South Jersey cops for a ride found with heroin stolen hospital gear according to the police department where the heck was this this was Washington Township a couple asked officers for a ride early Thursday morning at the Washington Township police station they brought enough heroin and a stolen hospital thermometer what the hell is wrong with them why would you ask for a ride home if you have heroin on you 
Potential New Jersey toll evader spotted in the GSP. Okay. Um, all right. Not sure uh, how this is a huge criminal under enterprise. What are, what are we supposed to get from this picture? I see nothing. I don't see a single... Uh, I guess he covered his license plate. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, the license plate is bent over so you couldn't read the back half of the plate. Okay. I can't read any of the plate. So I don't know what you expect. I guess maybe they blurred it out for the article, but... Uh, are you expecting me to help you find a toll evader? What did he steal? A dollar? Former Wildwoods New, New Jersey mayor pleads guilty to fraud. Um, I'm kind of not surprised. Now, I don't... Yeah, this might be... Former mayor of this Cape May County Shore Resort town is admitted to illegally taking state health benefits, according to published reports. Uh, I'm not surprised. First off, he's a Democrat. Second, um, what I heard from a... Uh, let's see. Uh, let me word this. I heard from another store owner, let's say, down in Wildwood, that the local government was very corrupt. And uh, so he, uh, for whatever reason, wasn't allowed to sell certain things. And it was all because he said, according to him, the mayor and the city council owned certain other businesses in the town and they didn't want competition. So good, I guess. But how corrupt do you have to be in a democratic state to get caught by other Democrats? Pretty corrupt, I imagine. Boom parties plaguing Burlington County get no new no tolerance treatment. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure what the tactics are. Philadelphia is trying new tactics to make boom car parties go bust as the noisy gatherings continue to irritate New Jersey residents. So, yeah, like nobody cares if you have a party, but like the ridiculous like blasting of music just stop um california can't resist imposing its own idiotic plastic bank ban yeah it works so well in new jersey as because it didn't i mean it's still the most woke tarted thing new jersey has ever done uh we all hate it by the way in case in case you were wondering anybody from out of state um so enjoy california enjoy forgetting that stupid reusable bag every time you go to the store and then thinking, ah, shit, I'll just buy another one. Uh, <laughs> I haven't bought a single one, by the way. I've been gifted so many of them because other people keep buying them. And I refuse to buy the damn bag. I'll just throw everything in the shopping cart and put it on my front seat. And when I get home, I'll just make a few trips or grab the bags then. Stupid. I could go back to paper, you total moron uh, speaking of morons here's our moron Norcross Norcross attorneys moved to dismiss racketeering case now nah. now nah, don't don't do that a gun coalition targets New Jersey one gun a month law a new lawsuit um, here's a picture of Kamala Harris when she said if anybody broke into her house, she'd shoot him. Rules for thee, but not for me. Um, yeah, I don't know why you even bother to pass a law like this. Oh, you can only have one gun a month. I thought guns were so dangerous. I mean, if you have one, what's the difference if you have five? I mean, you can't shoot all five. <laughs> like, what? who cares how many guns you have? Doesn't make any sense. Johnson's majority narrowed after New Jersey Democrats sworn in. The Democrats serving out the remainder of the late New Jersey Democrat Rep. Donald Payne Jr.'s term was sworn in Monday evening, evening narrowing Speaker Mike Johnson's Republican majority with nearly 40 days until the election. Get some more red guys in, everybody. Durr, don't interfere with the doctor-patient relationship. Former state senator and gubernatorial candidate Ed the Trucker Durr Today voiced his opposition to a bill, A1884, that recently made its way through Assembly Health Committee. The bill aims to establish the act of disseminating misinformation as professional misconduct for healthcare professionals. 
So this is more censorship from leftover from the pandemic. Because God forbid you would stand up to a pharmaceutical company trying to force something on you. <clears throat> so good on Ed. I'll totally, uh, I'm going to re-register as a Republican just to get him a vote in the primaries. Curtis Bashaw, a Cape May hotelier, faces off against Andy Kim for the Menendez seat in the U.S. Senate race. Godspeed. Curtis, I'll be voting for you. Uh, anybody but uh, uh, Andy Kim. Curtis Bouchaw, a running against Andy Kim for U.S. Senate seat. Married gay moderate who supports abortion rights but is voting for former President Donald Trump. Love it. Love it. I'll totally vote for him. Big Tent MAGA. Here we go. Uh, Camden County kicks off $11 million Kings Highway infrastructure project. I, I don't know why they have these ceremonies. Just friggin' start. You're going to waste the, the first day doing this, taking pictures or whatever. A waste of money, that is. Can't, can't, can't the politician just show up while the guys are working and say, hey, good job, fellas, and not interrupt anything? Ever think of that? Judge allows lawsuits to reinstate congestion fee on New Jersey commuters move forward. New York judge on Friday denied Governor Kathy Kolchow's request to toss out lawsuits challenging her decision to halt a new congestion fee. Good. Good. So far, so good. It's Judge Engeron, by the way, unfortunately. <laughs> so... Not, a, not the best guy to be here in this. How a South Jersey school district implementing a cell phone ban to ease classroom distractions. Uh, is this Bridgeton? I wonder if it is. No, it's Woodbury. Okay. Good for you, Woodbury. Good. I, I don't think students should have cell phones. I really don't. I would... Look, in my class, I was always in the honors class. We do our work in like 15 minutes and kill time the rest of the class. For us, we'd need that phone. For regular students, you got to be kidding me. Tom's River Mayor Dan Rodrick was named acting new police chief. Congrats. It's kind of weird. Mayor and police chief. <clears throat> Port of New York, New Jersey details strike operations plan. So, I'm not sure what... How's this going to go? Right? So, the strike starts before the election? Who gets the blame for that? I can't imagine Trump's going to get it. I mean, I just can't. So, <clears throat> doesn't seem like that's good for Biden. Uh, U U.S. Postal Service reveals its stamp prices for 2025 in New Jersey is shocked. 73 cents. It, oh, that's the current rate? For a fr oh my God, seventy three cents now for to mail a letter, mail my bills. I'm, you people really, really want to go out of business, right? I'm sure you're cooperating with the government to raise the rates, so uh, so everybody will go to email, and so uh, corporations can save millions by never sending me a bill, always sending it me electronic stuff. But I'm not going digital, so I'm going to send you a check. Because um, if I go totally digital, I don't know what I'm going to Will I even have a checkbook after that? Sounds like a dumb move. 810 Billiards and Bowling is open in Vineland, offering fun for all, all ages. 810 Billiards, huh? Hmm. Well, I guess that's the address. All right. Billiards and Bowling. Looks nice. It looks like they have darts, too, in arcade games. New Jersey is home to one of America's best beaches. Say it with me. Is it Cape May? It's always Cape May. Do-do-do-do-do. Uh, I'm going to say... The honor belongs to one of the Garden State's most historic cities. The amazing beach at Asbury Park. No, it looks like Asbury Park 
took it this time. Well, good for Asbury Park. Interesting. I don't like the boardwalk in Asbury Park, but the beach seems fine. I mean, the boardwalk's not bad. It's just, I don't know, every time I'm there, there's nothing open. Egg prices are sky high in New Jersey. Here's why. I totally need to know why. Because, man, I'm going to the store tomorrow, and last time I was at the store, eggs were $5. So, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, eggs have been spiking in price, and it's the biggest increase of any food. Thanks, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. The main culprit for egg prices is rising is bird flu. Uh-huh. In other words, in other words, the usual, the elites trying to murder us, <laughs> keep us from having delicious eggs. Um, fortunately, somebody gifted me a dozen eggs, so I didn't have to buy any at all, but man. Aka, what the? Akihabara Bazaar, Japanese goods stores, and choose landing, fun and fantasy. All right. Interesting. Grand opening. Not my kind of store, but there you go, weebs. You got a got a Japanese store full of Japanese stuff. Are you going to sell those pillows, those weird pillows that people sleep with? Have you met New Jersey's official state dinosaur? No, I have not. Is it the one in Haddonfield? It is. Uh, the Hadrosaurus. Okay, cool. I didn't know it was New Jersey's official dinosaur. Good on us. Survey says New Jersey not even close to the state eating the most bagels. Oh, well, who would that be then? I'm going to say Florida. Right? You didn't think of Florida right away. You'd, you'd go to New York, but I'm going to say Florida. All right. Do, 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 do. New Jersey was number 10, Pennsylvania 9, Kentucky 8, Connecticut 7, then New York, then Michigan, Michigan, Massachusetts 4, Georgia 3, really? Delaware 2 and Maine number 1. You're that's crazy. I never Where the hell's Florida? Ah, oh, that's crazy. So the average per resident, man, man, you were down in some uh Serious bagels. That's nuts. Never would have guessed me. New Jersey's 10, though. Uh, this beloved New Jersey beach bar announced it's closing forever. Okay. Which one is it? Uh, come on. Salty's. Salty's Beach Bar. Looks like. Oh, that's a shame. I don't know Salty's, but uh, apparently people love it. Uh, a pot, Glassboro is open. Korean barbecue hot pot and su seafood sushi buffet? Oh, that sounds like my kind of place. Where the hell is this in Glassboro? Is this near the college? Looks like it's in a, uh, what's the name? Uh, plaza. Love the hot pot. Love the Korean barbecue. Center at Double Tree on Delcy Drive in Glassboro, where Aldi and Goodwill are located. Hmm. Ooh, all you can eat? Are you effing kidding me? Oh, I'm so there. I am so effing there. Where the F is this? Oh, it's got to be on Delcy Drive. All you can eat? Are you kidding me? That's all you can eat? That's all you can eat. You're telling me I can have all you can eat Korean barbecue and sushi in one place. I'll never leave this damn place once I go in there. Holy crap. New Jersey women handle breakups much better than guys. Um, uh, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure how you determine uh, uh, handling it better. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the metrics are there, but according to an article, Four Seasons Fitness Glassboro opens 25,000 SF edition indoor pickleball court, turf field, and more. Is pickleball really that much exercise that it's 
in the fitness place? Kind of don't think so, but okay. Uh, get lost. 14 no-no rules for New Jersey corn mazes this fall. Okay. Let's read these. One, don't cheat. It's hard to cheat in a corn maze unless you're cutting through, I guess. Uh, don't pick the corn. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. They don't want you to pick it. Uh, don't use foul language. That's right. There's little kids there. Don't smoke. Yeah, definitely don't smoke. You'll light the damn maze on fire. Uh, don't drink. Probably not a good idea. Don't run. Also probably not a good idea. Or a good idea, I should say. Don't use the corn maze as a babysitter. Definitely do not abandon your kids in the corn maze. Don't skip the farm market. Definitely do not. That's the whole reason I'm going. Man, that's a big corn maze. Look at that one. Don't wear uncomfortable shoes. Yeah, good good tip. Um, don't expect to get out quickly, uh, especially not at this one. Jesus. How, where is the exit? Oh, I guess you... Okay, you got to start all the way out there. Okay, I see. Don't expect to get out quickly. Don't expect even ground for strollers and wheelchairs. Yeah, I, why would you take... Why would you take a baby in a corn maze, you weirdo? <laughs> you know, let me get this straight. You're a mom, you're a new mom, and you have to do the corn maze. Really? You have to do it? You can't just sit with the baby while your husband and the older kids go in. You have to do the corn maze with everybody. No, I don't think you do. And if you're in a wheelchair, I mean, what fun is the corn maze to you? You're sitting down already. I mean, that just doesn't... I mean, I get maybe a kid, but jeez. You're going to need... You, you, you're going to get stuck. Uh, what, are you going to have one of the other kids push you? What if he just says, ah, screw you, and leaves you there? That's what friends do. Uh, don't forget to check on the weather forecast. That's a good idea. Don't forget to pee first. Well, you are in a field, but yeah, it's probably a good idea. Don't forget a flashlight for night mazes, and don't forget to have fun. Well, you... I had to say all these rules, but sure. Hershey's Shake Shop Creamery opens in Belmar. Okay, I guess. I mean, the Hershey's ice cream isn't bad. Um, so, maybe. I don't know, the Hershey's company got a little woke, so wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be first on my list. This dude saved the New Jersey tomato from extinction. Well, good on you. Uh, before the 1800s, most people in the world never tasted a tomato. Uh, they believed it, they were poisonous. That is true. Well, in 1820 came Colonel Johnson, according to Wikipedia. Oh, wow, what, a, what research for this article. Johnson was a farmer, horticulturist, judge, soldier, and statesman. He lived in Salem, South Jersey. Yeah, and he probably didn't use Wikipedia to figure out science. Uh, on the morning of June... This is... 38 um, again maybe proofread too 1820 Johnson stood on the steps of the Salem County Whorehouse, Courthouse and ate a tomato oh I remember this story um, people warned him he would get sick and die and then he didn't so the tomato took off so good on him Almost 9 out of 10 USA Gardens grow tomatoes. Yeah, they're easy easy to grow. Except in my uh, garden where the squirrels eat everything. Pensauken's new municipal and library building rises ahead of summer 2025 opening. Okay. This is a big... See, a lot of these towns have rebuilt their municipal building and it kind of pisses me off because they are freaking elaborate and huge. And I don't see how it's saving us money. It seems to be giving the people who work in our government more facility, but I'm not sure what we get out of it. Uh, the number one ranked college in America is right here in New Jersey. Is it Princeton? I'll guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's here in Mercer County. Princeton University. Best college in the United States. Ooh, Rutgers was 41, so good on you. 76 was the Stevens Institute of Technology. Rutgers Newark was 80, New Jersey Institute of Technology 84, and Rutgers in Camden, 98. 
Good on you, Camden. Look at you. Uh, Route 42 North Belmar Lane shift right ahead of Browning Bridge Pier Rebuild. So look out for that. Uh, Borgata and Caesars are Atlantic City's luckiest casinos. For us or for them? You want to win and win often. How, which casino is the luckiest? So I guess you're saying um, those two are the best to go to. So that's good. Good to know. Popeye's Chicken for Linwald still clucking. Construction bids taking place. Where the hell is this going to be? Linwald? Oh, I think I know where this is. It's across from the liquor store? Within walking distance of that huge apartment complex? Yeah, that's, that place is going to be popular. I think that, I think if that's where it is. Whitehorse Pike and Linnewald. Uh, yeah, there's a Wawa, a McDonald's, and there's going to be a Popeye's now. God, that's right down on Route 30. I take that way all the time. That's going to be annoying. Uh, Ferris Wheel coming to Haddonfield Township for Music Festival. Uh, bands will perform on two separate stages as food trucks, a beer garden, and a kid zone line the street. So that'll be interesting. Surpri you know, Haddonfield's got so much money, or Haddon Township. Surprised they just don't have a permanent Ferris wheel. All right, getting into some Halloween stuff. Legends and of hauntings abound in South Jersey. Ah, this is my time of year. Where to find the hot spots? Okay. So you got Upsecon Lighthouse in Atlantic City, very haunted. Mm -hmm. Burlington County Jailhouse in Mount Holly, a classic. Um, Collings Night House in Collingswood. Uh, I don't know if that's really open to the public so much, but the Flanders Hotel in Ocean City, more so. They definitely have a uh, haunted uh, uh, haunting by Emily. Uh, the Holy Altar and the Witch's Well in Mount Holly. Oh, all my hot spots. Uh, Old Town Hall in Mullica Hill. I think I've done a sh I did a short on that one. Scottish Scottish Rite Auditorium, uh, and Mansion in Collingswood. Yeah. And uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, Tony's House of Horror is a free museum <laughs> residents can go check out an Audubon? Really? Oh, interesting. I, I, I don't know if that's part of this article, but that's kind of funny. All right, moving on. Check out this house at New Jersey Shore, New Jersey decorated for Halloween. All right. So... That looks pretty cool. It's located at 92 East Main Street in Freehold. Not really down the shore, but okay. So there's a cool house. Uh, top 10 best New Jersey towns for Halloween decorations. Uh, place your bets. Merchantville. Lambertville. Westfield and Union. Tom's River. Margate. Hawthorne, New Jersey, Matasquan, New Jersey, Barnegat Township, Haddon Heights. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, Heights Town. And that's it. Really, Haddon Heights. One place in Camden County, you're going to put Haddon Heights. I, I find this a little sus, this list. New Jersey is home to one of America's spookiest ghost towns. Oh, I know many, but let's see which one you're talking about. The old Essex County Jail Annex in North Caldwell. Okay. So that looks pretty ghosty. So that's cool. Uh, that's a bit north for me, so I didn't know about that one. Uh, New Jersey Utility says they're lowering energy bills in October. So there's uh, positive news there. Good. Uh, grocery store loyalty. Check out America's most popular and it's a picture of ShopRite. All right. Most popular store, uh, grocery stores in America. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to scroll down because it starts at 40 and I haven't heard of half of these. I'm just going to scroll through until I recognize one. 
Giant, I, I've heard of. AMP, that's an old one. ShopRite was 23. Uh, Food Line, I've heard of that. Wagmans is 16. Uh, Save a Lot is 14. Fresh Markets is 13. Amazon Fresh, I don't think we have any around here that I know of. Publix, Albertson, Pickly Wiggly, Circle K, Safeway is 7. Win Dixie is 6. Whole Foods Market is 5. Kroger is four, Aldi is three, really? Trader Joe's is two, and 7-Eleven is one? Not really a supermarket. That's a weird, it's a weird list. They were all supermarkets until you got the 7-Eleven. It's a mini mart at best, I, uh, that's weird. Have an unforgettable dinner date at this New Jersey cave restaurant. Where the hell's this? Edgewater, okay. So you can go in a cave. Oh, are they giving it away? Should I enter another contest? <laughs> An enchanting cave date night experience giveaway. All right, let's see how this works. Enter and win $50 gift card giveaway. It doesn't sound like enough for a date. Hate to tell you. Winner will be picked randomly February 1st. We'll announce in my story uh, okay, how do you how do you enter? This is called uh, Cafe Archetypus. Offers a range of items from appetizers, truffled potato chips. Uh, main courses include burgers, quesadillas, salads, and more. Oh, okay, so maybe it's a little low key. Maybe it would uh, would be um, fifty dollars would be a date. It's at two sixty six Old River Road in Edgewater, New Jersey. All right. Uh, New Jersey seems to be overrun with chipmunks this year. So, I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen a chipmunk. But I have a dog, so she would chase it. Uh, the things New Jersey does better than any other state. Uh, ex the, uh, things that we excel at. A New Jersey budget? Okay. We're, we're best at budgets. Uh, what is New Jersey good at? Italian food, yes, 100%. Subs, yes. Hoagies, you, we call them hoagies, remember? Driving, yes. We have good signage in our on our roads. Diners, absolutely. Construction, I don't know if we're good at it. We have a lot of it. Beaches, yeah. Boardwalks, yep, we're number one. Bagels, yep. So that's a good list. Good list. Uh, this is New Jersey and the tri-state area's most exclusive reservation. Okay. Chef Fola's. Boom. That's that's a great place. You gotta go to Chef Fola's. Oh, look at that. That is on the bone. I can tell you exactly what that is. That's on the bone uh, veal parmesan. That's what that is. Now, I don't like to get veal. I get chicken, but oh man, is it good. Oh, and there's some other places, but thank you for putting Chef Bowl as number one because it is number one. Cafe 2825, that is the same area. It's basically down the street from Bola's. It's fabulous, fabulous place. Rouse, uh, where the hell is this? Near Randall's Island. Ah, that's way up north, I think. Oh, that's in New York City. Nah, that doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's in New York. Uh, but, yeah, those two restaurants, Chef Fola and tw Cafe 2825, mm, fantastic. Uh, this is New Jersey's restaurant. Just scored a spot on the 2024 Best in America list. Find out where, where you need to go. Uh, looks good. Raw seafood. This is uh, Sweet Italian Market. Is that what? Sweet Tamalia Market? Is that what it's called? Sweet Amelia Market. Looks great. Pretty fabulous. Sweet Amelia Market and Kitchen in Newfield, New Jersey. We are a southern New Jersey oyster farm and modern roadside farm stand offering casual takeout cuisine that features fresh local harvest and celebrates our Jersey roots. You can sit out at a picnic table and enjoy lunch or dinner including oysters, sandwiches, salads, and more. Ooh. 
It's mouth-watering just thinking about it. This is New Jersey's can't-miss fast food joint. Um, okay. One of Elizabeth, New Jersey's best food spots. Damn you, you put ketchup on a hot dog, you sicko. Tommy's. Tommy's. So that's way up north. I'll stick with the oysters. Uh, celebrating National Coffee Day with the best coffee shops in New Jersey. Okay. Number one place to get at the shore is Rook Coffee. Uh, Monmouth and Ocean Counties, Homdel, Red Bank, Little Silver, Long Branch, Freehold, Wall, Point Pleasant, and Colts Neck. Okay. So that's the best place. I've never seen Rook Coffee. We don't have them this far south, but I have to check it out if I'm in the area. Uh, do you know New Jersey's oldest town? Oh, let me think about this. I guess it would have to be up north. Um, New Jersey's oldest town. Hmm. I'll take a stab at it. I'll say, oh, could be Salem. That's pretty old. Uh, looking at the picture, it's got to be a coastal town on the east side of the state, probably further north. Oh, boy. I'll say... Uh, gosh, I don't know. I... I it's got to be something up north, I don't know. Freehold, they're saying. That's old. Trenton's old, sure. You have to travel back to 1630 when Michael Rainer's Jaw was sold the deed to the area by Dutch India Company, according to only in your state, that is Jersey City. Oh, okay. It's not a town, that's a city. <laughs> but all right, Jersey City is the winner. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, new and classic favorites, the best dive bars in New Jersey. All right, what am I ending on here? Oh, right. All right, here's our favorite dive bar. Jay's Elbow Room. I thought this place closed. Mount Laurel, I guess it's still open. Highland Tavern in Gloucester City. Tom Fisher's Tavern, Haddon Township. I don't, do I know that one? Must have driven past it. Little Spot Tavern in Somerdale. I've drive, drive by this one all the damn time. I've never been in it, though. The Corner Bar in Piles Grove. Crawford's Corner Bar and Kitchen in Riverside. Hob Tavern in Bordentown. I always want to go to the Hob. It's very historic. McGinn's Place in Lawrence Township. Uh, Al's Airport Inn in Ewing. Exit 8 East Windsor. Now we're getting out of my area. Tom's Tavern in Farmingdale. That's where uh, Highway Bandits from uh, the Revolutionary War had a headquarters in Farmingdale. Doc's Corner in Monroe Township. Ivy Inn in Princeton. That doesn't look like a dive at all, and it's in Princeton. They wouldn't allow a dive. Hillbilly Hall in Hopewell. That place looks familiar. I wonder if I've been there. 33's Tavern in South River. Last Call in Sayreville. The twenty, the 244 spot in South Amboy. Oh, that's a dive, divey looking place. Patrick's Pub in New Brunswick. <clears throat> Riverside Bar in Cranford. Oh, I like the look of that place. That's old timey. Joe's Place in Union. Patty's Place in Union. Dylan's Tavern in West Orange. The Deep Inn in Newark. Donegal Saloon in Kearney. Wow, that's a little place. Old Canal Inn in Nutley. Cliff Tavern in Clifton. Hoover's Tavern in Morris Plains. Gyps Tavern in Branchville. And that's it. That's an interesting one, too. A lot of dive bars. And finally, 10 great downtown spots in New Jersey you have to visit. All right. So... First is the Trattatoria in Long Branch. So that's a restaurant. The Bistro in Hanfield. I've been to the Bistro. It's pretty nice. It's a good lunch place. Good outside cafe. 
Taka in Asbury Park. Uh, Cellar 335 in Jersey City. Toscano Steakhouse in Bordentown. That sounds familiar. I think I know that place, but I don't think I've eaten there. Angelica's in Seabright. I was just in Seabright. Oasis Restaurant in Cran Cranford. Uh, Strata in Atlantic Highlands. Sweetwaters in Westfield. Washington Inn in Cape May. I believe that's haunted. I'm almost sure. I'd have to look it up, but I know there's a ghost. It's, it's Cape May. They all have ghosts. Anyhow, that's it for me. Tony D. and Little Jones somewhere behind me. Thanks for tuning in to the Piney Podcast. I hope it was enlightening. At the very least, I've given you some good restaurants to think about and uh, some uh, spooky stuff coming up. More spooky stuff all this month from me and um, this week. Uh, I am doing 31 events in October, so don't miss them. Uh, if you ever want to catch me at a signing and get some of my books, this is the month. It's going to be crazy, uh, and I'm going to try to have books all the time. i got to order some books tonight. I have to anticipate the orders ahead of time. It's, it's going to drive me nuts. I know I'm going to run out of stuff, but I will do my best. So I hope to see you at one of my events. Thanks for tuning in, Piney. We'll see you in the next one.